says that sarcasm and a flippant attitude won't sell books. Well, for one local author, it has proved to be successful. Our next guest battled and beat alcoholism and somehow managed to make being a mother and growing old gracefully a cool thing to do. So who's this woman who says never step on a scale, look in a mirror, or say no to chocolate? Well, her name is Maggie Lamond Simone, and she's the author of From Beer to Maternity, and she joins us here today. Maggie, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. It's it's older, growing okay. older. Old, older with an ER. Yeah. I, I'm not at the old part yet, so it's still the process. But thanks. That was, that yeah, was you're nice. Great. Oh, you're very welcome. As you can see, she's quite funny, too. All right, listen, set this up for us. I love the title of the book, From Beer to Maternity, and there is a story behind it. Uh, there is. I always wanted to do a column collection because, mainly because of the song, the Pina Colada song. Really? Which I hate. Mm -hmm. Nothing against Rupert. I, I'm sure he's a nice guy personally. But I, it's a horrible song and it keeps getting airplay. And I'm like, oh my God, I write some good stuff and it's read once. And read once and it's archived. So I wanted to do a collection of columns, but I didn't know what my theme would be. You know, mm. I'm really kind of a random column. No, not you. And uh, I, I make random look good. <laughs> Um, and then one day I realized that I had approached the, the 20th anniversary of quitting drinking and now have two kids in the, almost in the double digits and thought that I had come sort of full circle and that maybe it was time to do the collection and that was the title, From Beer to Maternity. It hit me in the bathroom, if you must know. Oh, wow. The things we don't know. We're going to find out on style. I love that. Listen, I want you to talk about your sarcasm and your sass. Have you always been a sarcastic kind of writer with a little bit of the sassiness? I have. I never really was able to express anger. I have four brothers. I was in the middle. Um, there are no pictures of me. As far as my family knows, it was all boys. And so in order to express myself, I would write it down and give it to my mother. Really? Here. That's and, how I feel. Uh, and, that's, and, and in order to get her attention, I had to make it funny. Because otherwise she'd think someone's handing me a grocery list. So I would write it down, I'd thrust it at her and stand there and just wait for her to respond. And I ended up getting a column in college, which was the same thing, except I didn't have the immediate feedback. And then when I uh, quit drinking, I thought, God, I still have something to say. And uh, I'm really funny. Uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't go away in that decade of not knowing where I was. So tell us about the book. Set it up for folks that are watching and want to purchase it. What does it kind of touch on and how do you sum it up? It is basically a, a growing up story. At okay. 30 years old, I quit drinking, which, which is only my story. I mean, everybody's got their own story, mm -hmm. but people, I think, are growing up later these days. Mm -hmm. And at 30 years old, I was living alone for the first time. I got a, a real job instead of a bartending job. Not that there's anything wrong with bartending, by the way, I'm a really good one. Uh -huh. um, and I started dating men that I didn't meet at the bar where I was in a bar. How nice and is that? Right? It was lovely. It was challenging, though. Okay. It was challenging, because here you are, a 30 or 32-year-old woman dating an attractive man thinking, okay, you know, I know I wasted the last decade, but I'd like to have kids. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And you're on the first or second <laughs> date because you don't have to. I just wasted 10 years. I'm not wasting another 10. Mm -hmm. So just you don't have to do it now, but just let me know. If uh -huh. there's no chance for that, I got a bus to catch. So it was, it was a challenge to date. It was a, a challenge to get married after being single for so long. Right. I'm like, what, what do you mean I can't date anymore? Really? You know, where is that actually just in one the person? vows? Uh, so, you know, that was tough. Getting pregnant, having kids when I was almost 40 was was a challenge. Um, so do you think that in your book, though, that's something that I think a lot of women, I think a lot of people, but specifically women can relate to? I, I think so. I, I think that it's becoming, it's becoming the norm to have your life in place have college in place, have your career in place before you start saying, okay, now I'm ready for this other part. So, or else going through the first marriage and being ready for the second one. You know, you find yourself in your mid-30s really facing, facing a, a new segment of life. So when people look at your book and they walk away after they've read it, I mean, what's the message you want to send them home with? There's no such thing as perfect. There's no such thing. Cut yourself a break. Mm -hmm. There's, it's, it's fun. It can be funny. Um, there, there's, there's a lot of humor to be had in kids at this age, you know, who, who asking you, when is it inappropriate to use bad words as long as everyone knows what they mean? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a different, I think it's a different aspect of parenting, being an older parent mm -hmm. of younger kids. 
With um, an ER, just by the way. Pardon me? Older with an ER. Yes, older, yeah. mm -hmm. not old. Yes, that's right. Just drink it from your vocabulary. <laughs> Um, but the, women are so hard on themselves, and I think my book hopefully gives them permission to forgive themselves some things. Mm. Very great, great, greatly put. I mean, that's awesome. The beer, the book again. I'm getting ready to say beer. <laughs> Check, please. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. The beer, the beer. Listen to me. The beer. The book is called From Beer to Maternity. Everybody, Maggie Lamont.